Hey guys, Jake here, and today I've got my week number two match of the Hive. This week we're going up against Dylan. He's the coach of the Montreal Giga Impacts, which is a pretty cool, cool team name. Um, but yeah, Dylan's been uh, in like the Hive community, or uh, not Hive community, but like he's been in the league, uh, which used to be CBA for ever since season one, I think. So he's kind of one of the OG guys in uh, the league and he's a very good player um sometimes i've seen he tends to go uh very underestimated but that does not mean he's not a tough opponent this week uh he, he is definitely a very good player i know he can get very creative with his prep i know week one he swept his opponent with an agility special dragonite so he can definitely get pretty cre creative and i definitely need to watch out for that so um yeah, we're playing Dylan, uh, so let me read off the team matchup real quick. My team consists of Zygarde 50%, Mega Charizard X, Greninja, Reuniclus, Forges, Nidoking, Verizion, Kangaskhan, Blastoise, Duplade, and Tornadus Eye. His draft consists of Top of Any, Jirachi, Dragonite, Mamoswine, Jolteon, Silvali, Mega Beedrill, Silvazzle, Zangoose, and Dodrio. So he's got a really powerful Fairy Dragon Steel Car. He's got the Top of Any, Jirachi, Dragonite, and Mamoswine. And then he's got Mamoswine, which is a huge threat. Um, but yeah, Tapu Fini is one of the biggest threats to my team because I don't have a switch into its dual stabs. Offensive Tapu Fini is, I think, the best set versus me um, because I, I literally just do not have a switch in. Um, it can 2 KO my entire roster besides, like, AV Reuniclus. But, um, yeah, and especially, uh, like, also, like, a Scarf or a Scarf Finny can be a pretty scary late game if my team is weakened. So, um, yeah, Finny is definitely a huge set, and I need to watch out for it. Uh, Jirachi, um, it's not a huge threat because I do have a Charizard X, a Duplade, a Nido King, and Zygarde on my team. But I definitely think it's coming. I think uh, it'll, it'll, he'll probably try and get Roxer up early with it. And uh, it, can, it has the coverage to hit my team decently hard. Um, he's also got uh, Dragonite. Dragonite's a really scary versus my team. Um, my best thing for it is Duplade, and if Duplade gets weakened, or if he has a Z move for it, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm in huge trouble. So, uh, yeah, um, uh, he's also got, uh, Jolteon. Jolteon, I'm, I'm not scared of it at all. I do have many things for it. I do have a Charizard X. I do have a Zygarde. I do have a Nidoking on my draft. Uh, also have a Rizion, so I'm really not scared of Jolteon. He's got Silvali. Um, Silvali, I didn't really think it was coming, but, uh, I did see, like, a Silvali bug to do with my Zygarde in one of my mocks. So, that's a possibility, uh, He's also um, got the Mega Beedrill. Mega Beedrill is, is uh, it, it's it's not a huge threat, but if he plays it correctly, it could be pretty scary. Uh, something like a SD knockoff variant uh, can just run through my team, uh, and yeah, especially if my just team is whittled a bit. I'm in a I'm in a pretty bad spot. Um, He's also got Salazzle. I'm not really scared of Salazzle because I do have Zygarde, I do have Zardex. The bulky Zardex can check Salazzle very well and it'll with Earthquake. Uh, I do have all, I also do have a Greninja to outspeed and revenge it. I have a Nido King that can eat any one hit and Oko it. Same goes for Reuniclus. So I'm really not too scared of the uh Salazzle. Um He's got the Zangus. Zangus I was actually very scared of because something like an SD knockoff quick attack variant could just run through my team also with facade. Because quick attack will be doing a ton to my only thing faster than it on my roster, Greninja. And um well actually I lied. I think I got my own speed. I don't remember. But yeah, uh if Dubli is just shipped a bit, it can die to knockoff and then I could just like lose to Zangus on the spot. So yeah, it's pretty scary. Uh He's also got the Tangela. Tangela was potential bring because I do have a Zygarde and uh, t and Tangela can hit stuff, can uh, check stuff like a Bandit Zygarde pretty well. But um, uh, it, it's just terrible versus the rest of my team, so I still didn't really expect it. And do he's also got Dojirio. Uh, Dojirio, again, I wasn't really. Uh, it, it, it's 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 definitely a very possible bring. Uh, I did see it in a lot of my mocks. Uh, one thing I saw was Swords Dance plus Knockoff. I actually didn't know it got Knockoff until I did my mocks. Knockoff did my Dublade, and then it also had Quick Attack, did my Ninja Heart, and then just like normal stab to hit the rest of my team. So, uh, yeah, Zodrio could definitely be, be a big threat if played right as well. 
But um, as for the matchup goes, I'd say our matchup is pretty even. I have some threats to his team, he has some threats to mine. But uh, yeah, let's go over my team real quick. So the first one I wanted to build around was uh, Trick Room Life Orb Unicus. Trick Room Psychic, Energy Ball, and Shadow Ball. I went back and forth between uh, Energy Ball and Hidden Power Ice. Uh, I opted for uh, Energy Ball because one uh, situation that I kept seeing in my mocks was they would uh, preserve their Mammal Swine and it, and it would eventually just be uh, Mammal Swine versus Reuniclus. And uh, like Psychic does like like 80 to like 98 to, to a to a mammal swine that's like not naive and he has no reason to run free stride this week so it'll definitely be like adamant or uh j jolly so um he, so yeah uh, it wouldn't kill but energy ball can oko mammal swine so i thought that sounded really nice considering how big of a threat mammal swine is to my team uh, i did have hidden power ice on first but uh the situation where i need we're needing to oko dragonite just didn't really appear in my mocks um but, uh, yeah, and Psychic also still, still has a very good chunk. It does, like, 63 to 76. So, um, it, it, leads, it leaves it in range of stuff like my Zygarde's Extreme Speed and uh, my Dew Blade's uh, Shadow Sneak. So I figured uh, Psychic plus Life Orb would be good. I didn't really need to Power Ice. So, um, yeah, uh, next up, I've got my Nido King, uh, Stealth Rock, Earth Power, Ice Beam, Sludge Wave. This is all the coverage I need to hit all this team. He really does not have a good switch into this at all. Um, rocks are very necessary this game for uh, to break the Dragon Eyes multi scale. Also, just make the Beedrill take 25% each turn. So, um, yeah. Uh, also, um, I'm thinking something like a Shookaberry or Balloon Rachi could be a thing to deal with this. But, um, yeah. Uh, like, just fine, because I can play around Jirachi accordingly and still preserve this thing to just hit the rest of his team hard. Uh, it's a great breaker for the tank. Well, uh, um, it's my, it's, a, it's my best way of revenging Finny. Uh, I've got max speed, max special attack. Yeah, I'm just max, max this week, because, uh, in case he wants to run, like, max timid Finny, uh, I can speed tie with it at the very least. So, uh, yeah, um, next up. Bandit Zygarde, uh, Rockin' uh, Outrage, uh, Thousand Arrows, Earthquake, and Extreme Speed, Max Attack, Jolly, 216 Speed for Rest and HP. Uh, I'm pretty sure this, this speed makes sure I outspeed Zangus, which is pretty important. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is just standard uh, Zygarde pretty much. Um, he does have the Tangled to switch into a Bandit Zygarde, but... Uh, I'm really not expecting Tangle of this game, and if he does, I can just capitalize it upon it in other ways. So, um, uh, yeah, um, this thing is really good because the strong bandit E speed is nice. It can hit Rashi really hard. Um, even though I'm kind of expecting Chuka, as I said, uh, it can Oko Beedrill, Oko Salazzle. I did have a Dragon Dance, uh, Coil Yachi, uh, Zygarde at first, and, um, it was, it was working out well, but I figured. One thing that I kept running, one problem that I kept running into was just I couldn't hit Finny enough, like hard enough as possible, and then it would just get kills on my team. So I figured I needed, I should probably go with Ban Bandit, Bandit Zygarde because it does a ton to Finny. I can hit it really hard, and um, just lead, and like if I if I don't kill it, it's it's in range of one of my uh, faster mods. So yeah, next up I've got my Greninja Gunshot, Ice Beam, Water Shirk, and Hydro Pump. This was a mine I threw on last minute, but it's still pretty solid versus this team. I felt like I kind of needed it because it can revenge Dojirio. Um, um, yeah, uh, Gunk Shot hits top of Finny. I can 2 a KO an offensive Finny with Gunk Shot, eat my Roselli Rose Berry, and kill him on the next turn. So it's very solid in that regard. Ice Beam for Dragonite. Um, uh, I Hydro Pump just for general stab, and Water Shirken for priority. Uh, so I can uh, hit like the Beedrill, the Jolteon, um, uh, and I, I could uh, Water Shirk and the Sangus if it's low enough, and and I can't let him go for Quick Attack. But uh, yeah, this one is just how it revenges a lot of his uh, like kind of slower threats. So um, yeah, I uh, didn't need Dark Pulse for Jirachi, I felt because I figured Jirachi won't be like Spadef this week. But um, yeah, uh, next up, Dew Blade, um, mixed. Uh, Defensive Zooblade with a bit of attack investment, Shadow Claw, uh, Gyro Ball, Shadow Sneak, and Pursuit. Um, I felt like I, this mod was just good because it can uh, take a hit from Zangus, take a hit from Sylvazzle. 
take it from Beedrill, take hits from Dragonite, just take hits from Jirachi, take hits from his team, and uh, deal back decent damage. Uh, the Sun can also take a hit, 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 uh, hit from Amoswine if need be, um, which is nice. Uh, I forget exactly what my investment is for, but it's for something I'm pretty sure I, th I, th I don't I don't remember, but um, Pursuit is nice in case I think Jirachi is going to switch out and I can do a lot to it, or if I think Beedrill is going to U-turn on me, I can Pursuit it. It'll do a ton and like it'll kill him if he's like switched in on rocks a couple of times. Uh, and yeah, this Bond is just over a pretty solid tank for this team. And uh, last up, we've got Kangaskhan. Max defense, or pretty much max defense. Wish Body Slam, Protect, Earthquake. Uh, this is my uh, closest thing to a Mammoth Science Surgeon. And um, the Wish support is overall nice for my team because uh, uh, I want to keep stuff like my Dooblade, Zygarde, uh, Nido King healthy if possible. Um, this can, uh, kind of take hit from Dragonite need be, and I have the chance for Body Slam Confusion. Uh, I can take hits from Beedrill. Um, the biggest problem I saw with this mod was that, uh, it was kind of passive when it came to Finny, but, um, after I added Greninja in my mocks, uh, that problem, uh, wasn't really, uh, uh showing up pretty much because, um, my Greninja was a very solid lure to the top of Finny. Um, but, uh, but yeah, um, uh, I felt I feel like this team is pretty good. I have a solid chance of winning. Um, I feel I I just, I I don't I hope taking Charizard X off for um, Greninja won't come back to bite me. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty solid this game. I definitely have a good chance. I do so have to keep in mind that Dylan can get pretty creative with this prep. Uh, so um, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll be back with my battle in a second. Alright, we are back with the match versus Dylan, and as you can see, he decided to bring Mammoth Swine type of Finny, Jirachi, Dragonite, and the Me Mega Beedrill, and Dodrio. So this is a, like exactly what I expected. Uh, no Zangus is pretty relieving, though. Um, uh, no Salazzo was nice to see, too, because like, even though I said I didn't think Salazzo was that good for my draft, I didn't really prep for it that much. Like, I don't have a switch in because my Zygarde's not Yachi Berry. Um, but, uh, yeah, Zygarde looks really good at Team Preview, because I can just spam bands at arrows and pretty much get a kill. Um, Mammoth Swine is definitely looking terrifying, so, uh, but, um, yeah, let's, uh, start off the game. Uh, I decided to lead off with my, uh, Zygarde, because I'm thinking I can just take anyone hit from anything, uh, besides the Mammoth Swine, and get a big hit off. So he leads off with my Rachi, uh, with his Rachi, uh, this might have been a misplay turn, this is probably a misplay turn one, but uh, basically my thought process was I can live any hit, um, get off a big thousand arrows, if he if he's um, not, uh, like, very speedy Rachi, which I know is very possible, um, I'm actually more expecting speedy Rachi, but that just means my arrows will do more, but um, yeah, I can get off a huge hit, uh, pop his Shuka if he has it, and uh, yeah, just go from there. Um, like, I, I figured I didn't need my side card that healthy this game, which I don't really. But, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go for the bat and bend it, bend a thousand arrows. As he goes for the icy wind, if that does a lot, and, uh, I go for the arrows, and he is indeed Shaker Berry. So he's definitely an offensive Jirachi. Um, but I do want to preserve my side card, because that's banded extreme speed can definitely be nice late game once I manage to chip down stuff like the Dragonite and the Beedrill and the Dodrio. So, um,. I go hard into my Dewblade as uh, he actually makes a very good play and gets up his rocks. I actually almost went for arrows predicting that, but um, here I actually go for the pursuit, um, predicting him to switch because I really didn't expect him to carry a Shadow Ball. Uh, I I didn't I had like six mocks for this game and not one person brought Shadow Ball Jirachi because uh, it's kind of like weird coverage. Like versus my team, like I had three Unicorns and Dewblade, but like. Jirachi kind of has four move slot syndrome, especially if he's running rocks and ice coverage. So, uh, I definitely didn't expect him to run it, but um, he does stay in, so um, it doesn't really make that much of a difference because on the next turn I can just kill him with Shadow Sneak. Uh, the Spit Up Shop won't really matter because now he's going to go into his Mammoth Swine. I'm just gonna, here, I, I decide to uh, go for the Shadow Sneak instead of going hard into my Kangaskhan because rocks are up, I can't really switch into it. And, um,. Yeah, I figured the chip on this is nice to break something like a potential focus dash and um, get, get an in guaranteed range of Reuniclus in case he's like a really bulky memo swine. So, yeah, um, I go, he, as he kills me with the earthquake and he actually is indeed life orb. 
But uh, here I can go into my Greninja and just fire off Hydro Pump as uh, he um, goes into his top affinity and I miss Hydro Pump. Now this actually sucks a lot because one of the big things uh, with with, the, with this uh, Greninja set was that um, usually Gunk Shot should do a KO an offensive top affinity, but if he's like a bulky top affinity, I need Hydro Pump into two Gunk Shots to kill this. And so that sucks a lot because now two gunk shots might not knock him out, which means my whole Roselli berry was useless because I missed that hydro pump. But uh, I can just go for the hydro pump on the next turn, or er, not hydro pump, gunk shot, because I do have my Roselli, Roselli berry and I can live anyone hit. As I go for the gunk shot, that does a lot, and as you're gonna see, he crits me. <sighs> this crit sucked a lot. My Greninja was very useful for the rest of the game. I would have, I would have done like 50s. Uh, like 60% which means I would have been at like 20% and I can still come in on rocks um, this means I would have had late game water shuriken for the mammoth swine uh, I, I could also ice beam the dragonite like I know he has multi skill and possibly extreme speed but it meant, meant he can never set up uh, also water, water shuriken is good for the uh, good for the Beedrill and for the dodrio but um yeah, it, it, it sucked a lot, because now I'm forced to bring in my Nidoking. Uh, I would have just killed him on the next turn. Uh, if it, Like, hard, hard beach roll, I don't think he would have made that play. But even if he did, it's perfectly fine, because my Kangaskhan can deal with Beedrill. Unless he's SD, which I don't expect, because he can't really carry the coverage. But, um, yeah, uh, and he was left over, so I definitely would have evaded if he wasn't like Specs. So, uh, I can just bring my Needle Queen and go for the Sweat Raven and I knock it out. Now, here goes on to his Mammoth Swine. Now, I really wanted to click Earth Power in this turn. Like, I wanted to click it so bad. Because it will knock him out, and, uh, you might know that my Kang's Gun is my dedicated, like, pivot into this. Like, it's not really a counter, because with a bit of chip, uh, it can do KO me, but, um, I figured. I kind of need Nidoking to win this game. I need rocks up, so I I need to, and I can set rocks up later when I have the chance. So I just go hard into my Kangaskhan um, as he goes for the Life Orb Earthquake. That's definitely a Jolly Mammoth Swine. I know I can live another one because of that, and I just decide to throw up a wish. Uh, here I protect um, as well. He just goes for one again, and here let me talk about this play. So I figure so. I'm thinking he can't break this uh, King's Crown with his Mammoth Swine. And also, if you look at my team, if he sets up a Dragon Nits with Dragonite, he really actually just wins. So, I'm thinking his play is is definitely to go into his Dragonite on this turn because he can set up on his King's Crown, guaranteed with multi scale, and just win the game. One Dragon Nits wins in the game. Because Reuniclus dies to something like a Z move. King's Clown dies to, or even, even like a drag, like an outrage, it dies. Um, Nita King dies to any hit, uh, add plus one. Psyguard dies to any hit of plus one. He, if he goes hard into the Dragonite, and I am set up powder for the Dragonite, he wins. He, he just wins. I can't do anything about it. So I decide to pull the double into his Psyguard, thinking he will make the correct play and go into his drag, Dragonite. But he actually just, um, reveals that he actually has superpower on this turn which means he could break which means he could break my um which means he could break my uh king is all along i actually think that was a roll in my favor to uh, kill me so uh it wasn't like guaranteed kind of break me and then he would have got the attack drop and then he would have like just uh lost but uh yeah it was definitely a good prep on him having superpower because king is kind of like a low tier mon you maybe think he wouldn't prefer it all that much but um yeah, Mayo, who uh, built with Sun uh, after the game, told me that he did think that uh, he didn't know that off the top of his head that Kangaskhan could live two life or earthquakes, so he decided to put on superpower. So yeah, that's definitely a very nice call. Um, but uh, yeah, I still do have my Kangaskhan around. But uh, here I I decide I need to go, and I, I figure my way of winning this game is to is with Trick Room and Nicholas. If I had HP ice at this point, I'd be golden because I could just sack my my Neo King to get rocks up and then just sweep his team once I get up a trick room. But unfortunately, I do not. Um, so I have to. So I figure my way of winning is to hopefully get up rocks here with Neo King. Uh, try and do as much as I can with Dra versus Dragonite with Psychic. Live live any hit and then just try and sweep through his team and then maybe try and wall. While his team with my Kangaskhan, if I can. So, um, 
But yeah, basically I need the Dragonite Cripples for that, so I need to get up my rocks up as he goes for the Ice Shard. As um, that does not knock me out. And here I decide I can preserve my Ninja King and go into my Kangaskhan. Because basically what I, what I was trying to do on that turn was I wanted to lure in the Dragonite, but on the next turn, not on this turn. He actually goes hard into his Dragonite. So here I realize I need to get up, get a body slam here. It's the only way I can win this game. After after I crit my Greninja, I was on, I've been on the back foot, so I need to get a body slam parallel as he actually just reveals the devastating Drake. So yeah, um, I can live anyone, but that's actually kind of good because now he doesn't have the Z move to to use on my Reuniclus. I can set up a Trick Room on this turn and try and just try and try and maybe get a crit or something that that uh, I can kill this Dragonite with, but it's definitely looking very bleak. Um, I do go for the Trick Room, and he goes for the Dragon Dance, which I guess makes sense in case I was like Calm Mind, which uh, doesn't make sense against his roster. But um, yeah, I go for I go for the Trick Room, and if I had H HP Ice, I would be golden. I would knock out this Dragonite. Um, I can live Ice Shard plus Quick Attack. It would just be perfect. But unfortunately, I do not. Psychic will not knock him out, and he goes for the Outrage. At least he goes for the Outrage instead of something like a Dragon Claw, which means now I can at least lower my differential. Uh, and to go for the sledge wave, but here he actually just goes down to his dodrio, and I live the quick attack on one uh, And I had to kill him with ice beam and here. He's actually just gonna send out his uh, Mega Beedrill, which is uh, great because I can kill that with earth power and then he decides to choose to send in his mammoth mine he actually forgot that um he had Mammo live, which means I got to lower the differential by two points. But uh, yeah, this game is definitely not as close as it looked. I was just on the back foot ever since he crit my Greninja. My Greninja put in a ton of work, um, and I wasn't really able to able to um, uh, rebound from that. Uh, my I tried to pull the double into my side guard when um, when it was. Uh, Mammoth Swine versus uh, Kangaskhan, and I thought he'd go out into his Dragonite, but uh, uh, yeah, he, he uh, didn't work out. But uh, yeah, we lose 1 0, um, so you're now 1 and 1 out of 0 differential. Next week, we go against LeJohn. He's a coach of the Carolina Talent Flames, I believe, and uh, yeah, we kind of really need to win that game because it's a conference game, and uh, my division is looking really rough right now because. Uh, it's just tough because Dylan is now 2-0, and he's, he's leading the division, and uh, yeah, um, but yeah, uh, so yeah, that was definitely uh, not my best played game, but uh, anyway, thank you all for watching, I'll see you guys next time, peace.